So are you trying to get a job in car sales? Maybe you have an interview or you're trying to secure an interview? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get a job in car sales and crush your interview so you get hired right away. All right, welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Christopher, and this is another video in our car sales training and my, for my Cars Unlocked Academy series, guys. If you guys are starting your career in car sales, make sure you guys subscribe, or if you're looking just to grow as a salesman, make sure you guys subscribe and watch all the car sales training videos on my playlist here. If you guys have any questions, do not hesitate to send me a DM on Instagram or just comment in the video and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions and we can learn and grow together. Stay tuned until the end here guys because I'm gonna have a special bonus for you guys at the end that's gonna help you grow and accelerate your car sales career. Let's get the basic stuff out of the way here guys. First thing you're gonna wanna do before you even start applying to uh, any job interview but when you apply to the dealerships in general is you're gonna wanna clean up all your socials. Go on your Facebook, go on your Instagram, go on your TikTok, delete any videos or photos of you doing something inappropriate because the first thing someone's gonna do before they even call you for an interview is they're gonna log into your Facebook and check out your photos. So clean that up right away. Once you got that taken care of, I would recommend you search around in your area or if there's specific dealerships you wanna work at, go online and see which ones are hiring and apply to those dealerships. Sometimes it's better to just walk in and apply in person, but if you wanna apply online first, and then follow up in person and bring them your resume personally and talk about your online application, I would recommend that's the best way to go about it. But you're also gonna want to get certified. So wherever you're located, whether it's a province or what state you're in, you're probably gonna need some sort of certification in order to sell uh, vehicles in your region. So I would recommend you do that first. That's gonna put you a step ahead of anybody who else is applying. So most dealerships will hire you and then tell you to get certified. But if you're a step ahead and you already have the certification, you took that initiative to go and get the certification on your own, boom, you're laughing guys. So I would recommend you get certified uh, right away. So once that's all accomplished guys, and hopefully you've secured an interview, these are your next steps. Whatever dealership it is that's called you and asked you to come in for an interview, you're gonna wanna research, do a little preliminary research research that brand, go on their website, look how many cars that they have, look at some of their cars, study the names of some of the staff members that might be interviewing you, and just kind of get familiar with the dealership itself so that you're prepared when you arrive. I think this is pretty basic here, guys, but you're gonna want to show up to your interview dressed to impress. So look at what I'm wearing here. This is probably the perfect outfit to wear, maybe a blazer. Basically, you're gonna be business, don't wanna to go too formal, a tie is okay. It all depends on the dealership you work, you're applying to. So if you're applying for a luxury brand, maybe a suit and tie would be ideal, but if it's a more casual brand, you gotta kinda of familiarize yourself with the dealership and figure out are they a more casual dealership or are they a more formal dealership and, and dress like you're gonna work there, dress to impress, but uh, you don't wanna overdo it and go too formal and then you're gonna to wanna to be punctual for your interview. So you don't wanna show up on time. Hopefully you show up 15 minutes early for your interview so that you're punctual and you can show that you can meet a deadline, you can show up on time and you're gonna be early every day that you start your work. So once they take you into the interview room, you're gonna to wanna to shake hands with every single person in that room. Firm handshake, look them in the eye, be positive, smile, be confident and just give a nice firm handshake to everybody in the room. Whether there's one person interviewing you or four, you wanna shake hands and get the name of every single person in that interview. Firm handshake, introduce yourself, get the name, say thanks for taking the time to meet with me, happy to be here, nice to meet you, and get the interview started. They're gonna ask you a lot of questions, uh, basic interview questions, and I would recommend when you're doing your research, you Google some basic interview questions. Most car sales people, they're not gonna go too in detail with the questions, they're not gonna look back, and they're just gonna wanna meet you personally, understand your mannerisms, are you passionate, are you polite, are you confident, um, can you hold the conversation, that's kinda what they're looking for, but study some basic interview questions because they're probably gonna ask you a few of those basic interview questions, they're gonna ask you about your previous work experience and things like that. What you wanna stress when you're answering these questions, guys, is you wanna show that you're teachable or that you're coachable. You wanna show that you're a sponge and explain to them that 
I'm willing to learn. I don't know too much or maybe you don't have any experience. I don't have too much experience, but I'm willing to learn and I am coachable. I'm also willing to coach myself on top of the training that you provide to, for me. I'm willing to coach myself. So this is big here, guys. Show that they can teach you and you can also teach yourself and learn as you go. You also want to show hey, that you're thinking about this as a career. They don't want to hire you, go through all the, the bullshit of hiring you, training you, and then you leave after a few months or after six months. They want to make sure that you're there for the long run and you're going to create an established relationship and a long-term relationship with the dealership and the customers. So just say to them, hey, like I'm looking for this job so that I can Got, have a successful career, I can put a roof over my head, I can feed my family, I can invest for my future financial endeavors, and I can really make a career and excel and be the best that I can be at this job. You wanna make it known. I'm here to exceed your expectations and exceed your customers' expectations when I'm at your dealership. So you wanna make it clear that you're confident, you're coachable, and you're there to exceed their expectations. Some big things that are key in car sales is you wanna be able to multitask. So you wanna explain to them how you're able to multitask. You can handle doing multiple things at once. Let them know that you're great with technology. Let them know you're great with emailing. Let them know you're great with texting. Let them know that you are knowledgeable on some of the softwares that they will be using. So spreadsheets, whatever it is, out Microsoft Outlook, whatever you're confident in, if you speak two languages, that's great. Make sure they know that because uh, being able to speak a second language or a third language, however many you speak, is ideal. Let them know that you're organized. So you wanna make sure you're organized, you have good time management skills, you can look at your day in the morning and manage your time efficiently so that you're the most effective through every single hour of the day. Once they get through all their questions and you've emphasized those things that I just told you, they're gonna ask you to wrap up the interview, do you have any questions? And this is your big moment here, guys. You just don't wanna sit there and say, no, everything's, everything's good, everything's clear. This is your moment to wow them. You wanna ask them questions. You wanna say things like, do you have any reservations about hiring me? You wanna make it know that you're there to exceed their expectations, like I said. You wanna ask them maybe, what does your top producer do that others don't in this role? If you look back six months from now and look back at today, what would make you feel like you made a successful decision or you were correct in your decision in hiring me? What goals would I need to meet six months from now in order to exceed your expectations? Ask some questions like that, guys, and boom, it's gonna blow them out of the water. If you just say, no, everything is good, that's probably the worst thing you can do. You wanna ask some type of questions. Do you have any hesitation for hiring me? Or do you have any reservations about hiring me? And if they have any reservations, you wanna address those objections right away. And addressing objections is one thing that car salespeople do on a daily basis. So if you can address their objections right away and upfront in your interview, it's gonna do wonders. Once you kinda of ask them questions, you can Google different questions to ask at the end of the interview. This is pretty basic stuff, guys, but once you ask them all your questions and you've wowed them, they're already gonna be thinking that they wanna hire you. But the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do, just to put a little icing on the cake, is when your interview is concluded, you wanna stand up again, firm handshake, look everybody in the eye, and you're gonna to wanna to shake everyone's hand in the room, and you wanna repeat all their names back to them that they told you at the beginning. You wanna make sure you remember and registered all their names and repeat it back to them. I say that again, repeat it back to them. That's just gonna leave them with a huge like icing on the cake there moment where you repeat their names because that's something big that you need to do with customers is remember their names and repeating it back to them. Smile, thank, you, thank them for their time, say their name back to them and it's gonna wow them right away. If you don't end up getting a call within the first day or two, I would recommend following up with your interview. That's the last step. It's always good to follow up. Just say, hey, it was a pleasure meeting you there the other day. Just wanted to reach out and see if you had any questions in regards to my interview or application or if there's anything we missed in our application. Maybe follow up with them like that via email or a phone call, even a text message if uh, worse comes to worse. Make sure you follow up. That's the, the last thing. So hopefully this helps you guys. You guys are gonna nail it. If you guys have any questions, make sure you guys contact me in the comment section below or on Instagram. I'm putting out there my free Unlocking Your Potential Masterclass here. It's gonna be online in the description below. You guys can sign up. We're gonna go over the do's and don'ts of car sales completely free. 
just log in and sign up for the masterclass and you'll get access to the one hour webinar right away and it will help just accelerate your career in car sales and you can learn that everything that took me years to learn i'm going to put in this one hour masterclass for you guys through my cars unlocked academy program so make sure you guys click the link you get the free webinar subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here we'll see you in the next video good luck